So de Broglie equated the energy equations of Planck and Einstein. So Planck's is wave and Einstein's is particle. So for a wave of frequency V, so nu, the energy associated with each photon is given by the Planck's relation E is equal to H nu. Or H is the Planck's constant. Whereas according to Einstein's mass energy relation M mass M is equal to E is equal to mc square. Or C is the velocity of light. That's referred to as de Broglie analysis and de Broglie wavelength of matter waves. So, as indicated, we got two equations. Uh, it's a Planck's equation and uh, Einstein's equation. E is equal to h nu and E is equal to mc square. Equating your E, h nu and mc square, you'll be getting this one. When nu equal to c by lambda, Putting it here and cancelling the C, you'll be getting lambda is equal to H by MC. For a particle moving with a velocity V, if C is equal to V from equation, you'll be getting lambda is equal to H divided by MV, where C is equal to V. So as you know, P is equal to MV, so lambda equal to H divided by P. So that's the equation, P is equal to MV, so that's nothing but the momentum of the particle. These hypothetical matter waves will, uh, will be having the appreciable wavelength only for very light particles. When an electron of mass m and charge E is accelerated through a potential difference V, then the energy level EV is equal to the kinetic energy of the electron. So V is equal to EV divided by 2EV divided by M root of. The de Broglie wavelength is lambda is equal to H by MV. So replacing it, so lambda is equal to H divided by M into V. We'll be getting H divided by root of 2MEV. So substituting the known values in equation 2, you'll be getting the value as Lambda is equal to 12.27 divided by root of V Armstrong. So, this is the previous equation. If V is equal to 100 volts, then Lambda is equal to 1.227 Armstrong. The wavelength associated with an electron accelerated by 100 volt is given by 1.227 Armstrong. Since E is equal to E into V is the kinetic energy associated with the electron. So lambda is equal to H divided by root of 2 into Me. As you know Ev, this is the previous equation. So this is replaced by E here. 